For Practice Update, I'm Dr. Farzana Hafizula. Thank you for joining us. I'm here with Dr. Roy Herbst, Einstein Professor of Medicine and Chief of Medical Oncology at Yale Cancer Center and Smilo Cancer Hospital in New Haven, Connecticut. Dr. Herbst, thank you for joining me today. Well, thank you for having me. Well, I want to talk a little bit about proton therapy. Given the new data, how does proton therapy fit into the treatment of early stage non-small cell lung cancer? Well, you know, proton therapy is a new technology, and the idea is you can, you know, treat these cancers more specifically. You know, the, the proton beam allows uh, one to, to really, you know, focus it, you know, much more on the tumor. Uh, the radiation oncologist can control depth. So, so certainly, you know, for early stage lung cancer, um, you know, at sites that have proton therapy, I think it's, it's reasonable to consider. Um, do keep in mind that some of the other techniques for radiation, um, uh, SBRT, you know, high dose radiation therapy, you know, regular uh, 3D conformal radiation are quite good as well. So I don't, I don't think it's something you must have, but it's certainly something to consider if you're at a center that has it. Will you have less complications with this proton therapy compared to the regular radiation techniques? That we well, there are, there, there are limited uh, randomized trials in, in this area, but the ones that there are show that it certainly might be slightly better as, as, as far as uh, complications. That's excellent. And now surgery, how does that still compare and how does that fit into the algorithm with that versus a proton therapy and stereotactic radiation therapy? Well, for early stage lung cancer, meaning a stage one disease or stage two, um, the standard uh, of care still is surgery. So certainly at our center, uh, Smile Cancer Hospital uh, in New Haven, uh, we, we would operate, especially now with some of the new surgical techniques whether it be, you know, the video-assisted techniques, you know, robotic surgery, uh, where, you know, patients can recover much quicker. However, some patients can't, aren't good candidates for surgery. They might have comorbidities, uh, uh, COPD, uh, other, other uh, pulmonary abnormalities that, that preclude that, you know, cardiac issues. So in those patients, you know, uh, you know uh, a sublobar resection or radiation therapy certainly is something to be considered. So, uh, and, and the results are not that much less with, with radiation. So really what, what's required is to, to look at a patient in a multimodality way, which is we do what we do at our center in New Haven, and really have the surgeon, the radiation oncologist, medical oncologist all decide what the best thing is for the patient. So really you're going to just take an individualized approach depending on the patient. Right. You know, medicine's been personalized for many years. Uh, and uh, certainly in a disease like lung cancer where you're trying to cure it in the earlier stage disease, you do want to look at all the variables uh, and make a decision as a team. Absolutely. Well, data has also been presented regarding optimum radiotherapy schedules for limited stage small cell lung cancer. Do you think that these constitute an advance in this field? Well, you know, limited stage small cell lung cancer is curable. And, uh, you know, the data would suggest that the, the best uh, radiation schedules include radiation upfront as early as possible. Uh, concurrently, and as you probably know, uh, twice a day. So the, the evidence-based data support twice a day radiation. Now, is that done in practice? Maybe, maybe not. You know, that's very tough for the patient to have to have twice a day radiation. That means they get radiation in the morning, they wait around all day, they get it again in the, the afternoon. I would say if, if you have the facilities and the patient can do it, that probably is, is the best approach. But I must admit that many of the patients we treat, you know, in, in New Haven at, at the Smile Cancer Hospital, we're doing the once-a-day radiation. The, the key thing, though, is, is to make sure it's being done, you know, uh, in a good center with a group that sees many patients. You know, the data has shown that radiation therapy is, is better at the major centers, uh, which do have a, a large uh, experience in this area, uh, and coordinate that with chemotherapy. But, you know, limited small cells, you know, I look to that as that's curable disease. Now the goal is how to figure out how to, you know, cure more of them. And, um, you know, there are some new, new agents now in small cell that are very exciting. 